guys, and welcome on back to Build On With Whip. Today is episode 82. And last episode, we spent a lot of time over here doing a lot of work. We got this whole road detailed out. We got a bunch of dirt gathered up for some future projects, which will hopefully last us a little bit longer than this stuff did here. Then we got all this stuff right down here detailed out with a bunch of trees. So since last episode, I've been doing a little bit of work up here around the corner, clearing out some trees and things like that, just because we're revamping this whole swamp biome. And I figured there was, so I needed a bunch of wood and there's a bunch of oak trees down here. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to clear them all out. So all this stuff is now completely cleared out, which is really, really nice. And we got a bunch of wood from it. We got like 15 stacks, I think. And I want to show you guys something over here real quick. The mountain that we're expanding this area up to should be right. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> can't, can't lose a mountain too easily, huh? So, yeah, right down here, actually, I found a witch hut in the wall, which was kind of cool. I excavated it out, cleared it out a little bit. But sadly, there's a thing that happened apparently in 1.8.9 Minecraft or something like that. 1.8 something in there. Witch huts apparently above altitude like 63 don't spawn witches. So this one up here is at, let's see this, I guess technically this one's at 70. So this guy doesn't actually spawn a witch, which is a huge bummer. So we actually can't use this to create like a little redstone stick, glowstone, all that stuff farm. But I found actually another one way up over that way over the edge. But anyways, we're not going to be working on that guy today. I more just want to show you guys that's there. We're probably going to be making a little farm for it in the future. The one that works that is. But we got all this area up here to be working with still. Today, though, I want to address a problem that I've had for quite a while now. I haven't been able to find a good way of storing resources or I actually had like one location to go and look for resources. So today we're going to be tackling a storage room and I like to keep all this stuff back in papyrus so we can kind of have it all in the same general area so we can kind of have all of our farms, all of our automation things are kind of centered around papyrus so we can just kind of go into one area AFK and they're all producing different things. So that's kind of why we're up in here. Also, this area right here where we have the plans for the second part of the palace, I think I'm just going to turn it into like a royal garden. So I think that'd be kind of cool. Over here, though, where we're just landed down now, this is where I want to be throwing the storage room in. Not here. I want to be actually throwing it in underground kind of actually. So this is the max level right there. So we're going to put like wood uh, slabs across this whole bit and probably color, cover the top and do some houses, throw some sand on top and then do some houses and things like that. So we're gonna have an area where you kind of step down this area right here, and it just kind of comes down into a storage room, kind of down in this area, probably about this height for the first floor of it. So that'll be pretty easy to do. And go ahead and just clear it all out and then cover it all up in the end. But yeah, so this allows us one, two, three, and probably actually didn't want to break those, but one, two, three right there. And then we have four or, or three sections, four sections, sorry, four sections of five chests. We're gonna stack them up to three high, then we're, we have a little section right here of three chests, five chests, and three chests. And then we got another four sections of five chests on the sides. And I'm hoping that'll be enough storage kind of for now. And then this will be underground, so it'll be easy to add extra levels going downwards if we want to add like a potion brewing station and things like that. So we have a bunch of chests in here that we're going to be getting into this area. And we got a lot of oak wood to make all these chests. That's what I cleared out. That's pretty much the whole thing. And here I did some end rating, and we got 59 shulker shells. So my plan is, after we fill up a chest, Say this thing's all full of oak wood and we got more to put in. I'll put a shulker box in here and fill that completely with oak wood and clear up a bunch of space in this guy. So we got a bunch of stuff like that that we can be working with. Anyways, let me go ahead and do a little bit of clearing out in this area so we have something better to be working with and I'll be back with you guys. All right, guys, welcome back. So we got this whole area down here cleared up. I put some coarse dirt in as the base and I wanna go ahead and mix in just some regular dirt as well. Just trying to break up that color scheme a little bit, making it a little bit more interesting. Then beyond that, a lot of our pathways up here, we've used a lot of oak wood. Yeah, oak wood. So I'm thinking about adding some of that in here as well, just kind of as like a wooden base, just again to kind of mix it up. So we can have all these different colors and things in here, making it a little bit more interesting. Let's see. So we want oak wood to kind of be going in ways like this. So it kind of goes with the floorboards a little bit. You can see kind of the angle going there. So we want to go ahead and kind of mix it up that way. Then we can mix in a bunch of dirt. So that's kind of what we're doing there. Then after this, we got to go ahead and add a bunch of glowstone around the outside here so we kind of light up all the chests and it helps with the lighting in the area. I normally don't use glowstone, this, so this is kind of actually the first time I've, I think I've ever used it in our world. And definitely I got to go find some more of it. But I think this is going to be a good way of kind of backlighting all the chests so we get some decent light in here. You don't have to worry about too much with mob spawns. It doesn't look the best in my opinion block wise, but I think because it'll be hidden underneath the chests. It won't really matter. Back here, we don't really need a whole lot, so we could go clear those out, but I'm okay with just kind of lighting up everything so it's totally fine. 
And yeah, so we got this whole area in here. With all that, I'll finish that in just a sec. And I wanna go ahead in the middle right here, kinda of in this area, I'm thinking about doing another staircase going down to a second level that I'll eventually add in. So we'll do the staircase down for now, probably clear out the area. But for when this storage area runs out or if we run out of things to put in this area that I wanna do up here. So up here I wanna do mostly like building blocks and things like that. And then down below I wanna do materials like gunpowder and ink sacks and all the different dyes. And maybe along one of the walls, we do like a little row of dirt and we hook up every single type of flower so we can just do a bone meal farm there and get those. Maybe in like the corner, we'll copy over that micro farm that we did earlier and just kind of get those in here so we can have this area as like a full production environment for whatever we need. This can kind of be our powerhouse little area here. And of course we need a little bit more glowstone. So I gotta go to the nether and farm that up. But that's kind of where we're at right now. Let me go ahead and get all the glowstone in. I have a bunch of oak wood up here that I mentioned before. And let me go ahead and do that. Get the floor variation in, get all the glowstone in like I just said. And I guess after that, I gotta go find a bunch of tripwire hooks and things. So I'll do that, get them all the chests probably in place on this upper level and maybe clear out the bottom. I don't know, we'll see. I'll be back with you guys in a bit. I don't know quite how long it's been since I was here with you guys last, but we've got a lot of things to be checking out. So all the chests are in on this row and you guys who are hanging out over in the Discord channel, haha, <laughs> Discord plug. Um, I've been talking about kind of how I've been trying to mutilate a bunch of cows and come up with a bunch of item frames so we can throw them all these. Cool thing about item frames that I totally forgot about is you can put them on a corner. So these are both occupying the same block and they can both have their same item inside of it. So that is actually really good. Completely spaced on that. Thought it would work. And then, yeah. So we got this nice little simple railing going along here. We just got an ender chest back there. We'll probably throw like a crafting table and something else, maybe like a small forge. And we got to add a little bit more color to this area. Down here though, I went ahead and actually finished up this whole section. Now, or at least put the chests in, nothing's down here. I decided that we had these extra spaces along the walls. I wanna try and throw on some armor sets and extra things that we have. Over here are my extra elytras, so I'm thinking I'm gonna try and get all four of them with an elytra on it. Back here though, we just got a bunch of chests and things that are kinda of all over here. I threw another end chest back in this area just so they're kind of spread out decently. We got a bunch of them because I did a bunch of end writing recently. So we have a crap ton of chests to be working with. Yeah, so the big thing beyond that, so we have our little sandstone line right here Then I'm using trap doors on the top, so it's just recessed a little bit. So we only have the slabs there, so it's still pretty open down in this area. Did the same thing with the glowstone back there to cut down on lighting. So we're only using torches on these bits right here. And it actually, this whole place is fully lit up, which is pretty freaking cool. I'm gonna go back to grinding a bunch of freaking cows cause you know, that's what we gotta do now to get all the stuff and I'll be back with you guys later. Well, here we are. This, uh, this is a bunch of cows. I think this is what, 240 cows in here, 250 cows almost, that's insane. So, I'm thinking we do a little bit new, oh, we still got a bunch of babies in there. God, we can't kill them all yet. There's all the little babies. I guess I got to AFK, wait for those guys to grow up here real, real quick. I think we're going to mix up and do a different style of time lapse today, like a first person time lapse mode. I think it'd be kind of fun to do that and see how much stuff we actually gather up through all these cows. So I'm going to wait for those babies to grow up and I'll see you guys on the other side. Changed my mind there and went ahead and just left all the babies in there for everything that we didn't manage to kill. And we got a whopping two cow heads. So that's kind of cool. So we got some cow heads. Look at that right there. Yeah. And we got one, two, three, four, five, six stacks of leather. And we got, so we, we, Miss killed three, little over three stacks worth of beef, beef of cows, whatever that equates to with looting. I don't really know. But we got some cow heads, so that's pretty cool. These guys look pretty awesome. You can be a cow. Nope, we want to be a, oh, we need just one. You can only be one cow. We cannot be two cows. Look at that. So these custom heads that are in the pack, they were in here through loot tables that I added in through the Hermitcraft ones that they did so if you guys download the resource pack i believe they're in though i'm thinking about removing them in the 1.13 version just because they kind of clog up inventories and things like that and i don't really do anything with them as is so if it's something you guys want to see keeping in there let me know or if you guys think it's good to remove it you think it's kind of dumb let me know that as well down in the comments that'd be very very much appreciated i'll meet you guys back over there so the item frames are all in across the board on this guy and now we can go ahead and start actually getting back into placing these trapdoors on the roof for this. I want to go ahead and do the trapdoors up here as well. I'm not really sure if they're going to work going across right here. So we might have to come up with a different idea for this part of it. Because I think that does, you kind of hit your head on it. You don't really hit your head too bad. But I'm thinking we want to change it out to smooth the entrance in here a little bit. I'm thinking everything back here though for now. Let me go ahead and fill all these guys in. And I'll be right back with you. Because we want to at least have something that we can work on 
for the top area up here as much as this entrance right here won't work I basically want to fill this whole thing in then come around here and fill it all across the top with like dirt or sand or something like that and so we can actually turn this into a build on top that looks nice and we'll probably have like a side entrance like a entrance into the cellars kind of leads down in here like we have now so we'll do like a big building kind of in this general area maybe I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Let me go ahead and get these trapdoors in, though. All of the trapdoors are now in, and I gotta say, I really like the feel of this place. Just kind of the general vibe that I'm getting off of it is very much like an open, open storage room concept, but still feels like it's very much underground. And we did forget this section. I'm gonna go ahead and do this guy real quick. And I guess the trapdoors are a little hard to see, and they don't actually block light. Uh, so we, once we get the dirt layer on top, it should be a little bit darker in here. But as far as I know, all of these tiles should be fine. What I want to do now, though, with you guys is go ahead and grab a little bit of action like this. And right in here, we want to go ahead and more or less bring these. I'm thinking we go ahead and kind of just do something like this. And let's see if we can get those all the way back there. And I'm thinking, so this we bring in, boom, and boom. And then we're probably going to want to go ahead and throw a, let's go ahead and just get all this stuff on the bar. Probably something like this and then bam and boom and kind of bring this around a little bit. It helps kind of round it off and gives us a little bit more sense of the space that we actually have. So bring that guy there and then do something like that. Does that help with the entrance? I think that actually helps a lot with the entrance. Makes it feel a lot bigger. Makes it feel a lot bigger and you don't hit your head going in. So I think that's a good idea right there at least for what we want to get accomplished in my opinion but yeah that should be good and we can go ahead and just kind of bring them up on this side and do something like bam and bam and how do you look that's not bad i could go i could get behind that maybe we actually go ahead and bring you down just a step like that and this guy right here what if we ooh we can turn these stairs back this way nope that is upside down and yeah so we got that kind of so it steps down like that it goes back here and this guy i wanted to have it almost stepping down right back into that final spot eh, can we get that yeah like that maybe sure let's go ahead and leave it like that for now it, we won't hit our head going in i guess that's the most important part it really doesn't matter too much how the entrance to a storage hall looks I mean, I guess it does, but overall, we got a lot more of improving to do on the outside of the build. I feel like I keep coming. Nope, we're there. I was having this issue. I recently updated Optifine. And I was having this issue where I would come into the game and my frame, my render distance would be set up to 44 and it would lag like crazy. So I had to, I'd be like, why is it lagging? And then every time I'd go and look at that, it would fix it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and work on starting to get a few things divvied out in here. So I'm thinking like something like, we're probably gonna start with our woods and have this whole corner right here be all wood goods. So this will be like, I don't know, oak, spruce, birch, acacia, jungle. And then we can have dark oak right there. And then these can be like miscellaneous ones and miscellaneous things that can fit for any wood type. And we'll have like the planks in here and then whatever their extra bits are down here. So like we have like the, I made this in preparation for 1.13 when we have like the stripped log blocks and things like that. So we can maybe have a chest for those as well. But I want to keep everything very, very much separated from each other. I don't want to mix and match too much. So yeah, this is going to take me a while. And I'll be back with you guys once I get a little bit. At least the shulker box is cleared out. I think I'm going to clear the shulker boxes first. Well, guys, it's been a rough hour. But everything that we had in those shulker boxes, everything in our end chest is now sorted out besides our gear box, which just has the stuff that I want to keep on me all the time. But all these things are now empty. Besides that, that's a that's a beacon right there. So we're going to keep a beacon with us, but everything is placed in these. You can see right here, this is kind of how I'm going to structure them. After we fill up the whole thing, I come back and add in a shulker box and fill it up with a full thing. So we're basically, this will eventually turn into all shulker boxes of stone, I'm sure. Same with the cobblestone. So we got a little dirt and gravel section right here. This is going to be where all of our stones are. We got to get stone brick in there. These ones haven't been claimed for. That's just where I packed ice for now. Right here is where all of our colors start. So we have terracotta at the top, we have concrete, concrete powder in the bottom, then we have wools that are going to go around the base. Then it just kind of all the colors in there, and I'm going to throw in like glazed terracotta and things like that with them. I went ahead and actually crafted up a bunch of like single pieces right here and dyed them all up so we had those things ready to go. Over here we have our nether section. This is going to be our prismarine section, so we have dark prismarine, this will be 
prismarine brick and then prismarine in there and then these are kind of if we want to use them i'm thinking this second row right here is going to be for those slabs and stairs that are coming in the 1.13 version then over here we got our little nether section and kind of mixing in end rods in there i don't know why i just threw them in there right here is supposed to be our end section but right now i just have the end stone in here i haven't moved anything outside of those chests in there and then this is where all of our sandstone is these 15 chests are gonna be sandstone then here we have our crafted woods over here we also have our random crafted items like right now it's just a bunch of wood items that weren't actually like filled to something or they didn't fit a criteria over here because this will be the log the full block and then whatever versions like fences slabs stairs etc down in the base and that goes from that one all the way to there to get all six in there and these guys aren't spoken for yet we go ahead and move on downstairs we got our coal right here in front of us these are all going to be different types of leaves and saplings and different things from the trees over here is going to be all our different types of foods probably and these will be like harvestable goods like potatoes carrots and i don't really know what else uh, right here we got puffer fish i don't really know what else is going in there i threw our clay up right there here's all of our quartz our redstone or all of our redstone goods and a redstone shulker box in case we need to move a lot of stuff and in the bottom one is like gonna be like redstone modules like trap wire hooks pistons filter items repeaters etc if we ever make those over here is mob drops that's kind of the goal i don't know if we can fit it in the 15 chest but we'll see and then right here this is like a very important section so we got our shulker shells in the middle where we're going to save all of those when we need to make more boxes for everything else up in this one we're going to have uh, weapons and things like that right here we're going to have all of our tools that we find here we're going to have horse armor traveling items so powered rails boats etc up here is going to be our head chest so i'm going to just throw all of our heads in there so they don't clog up the other ones those guys aren't spoken for yet here we got all of our shiny things i threw a glass panes thing in right there because i just had a bunch of purple glass panes don't really know here's gonna be our die wall so right here is gonna be all the dyes then all the way down through here is gonna be all of the flowers i'm really thinking about just, oh, oops i'm really thinking about just taking the dyes right here and actually putting them into the flowers and if there is a dye like say cactus green or cocoa beans that doesn't have a specific um color like flower to it we'll just have that with its own chest so we can consolidate a little bit here then there's all the saplings that was a lot of stuff that is pretty much how the storage room is set up right now. I got a lot of moving of stuff to do still, just with all the different sections. We got a lot to go on and keep moving stuff over. So now that I have like 15 shulker boxes clear and able to move stuff around, I think it's time that I go ahead and start actually going and clearing out different areas. Cause you'll see we, there, we have so many little areas that are just full of materials and we can consolidate all them into one. I'm going to be so much more efficient, so much more ready to go. Like this chest right here. Look at all that crap. Where did that come from? Like, well, there's no organization to what's in there. And I don't even know if these things have anything in them. Nope, they don't. But there's just so many things around here. I don't think I'm even going to touch what's down there in our AFK Fisher. That can stay there. I kind of planned on, though, I want to know your guys' opinion on this. We have the giant mob farm underneath the palace. Do we want to move over like a double chest worth of every single item in there is that a solid idea or should we just leave those things out of the storage room so they're kind of in there so make sure to let me know that down in the comments i'm gonna get back to moving stuff around and i'll be back with you guys so i've just been running around doing a bunch of stuff gathering up all the resources and everything and the village actually ended up spawning an iron golem which is kind of cool so i guess they got a nice little guard here this is my attempt at making an iron golem texture i don't know still not super happy with it might go back to the original anyways let me know what we should name this guy because you know it's the first one to spawn here i feel like he deserves a good old name so let me know that down in the comments below guys man guys it has been so freaking long since we were back out of this area i don't even remember what this place looks like for those who are new to the channel we came out here this we're about like three four thousand blocks away from the desert city right now out in an ice ice spikes biome and we tried to make it like an underground grotto in here and there's a cool build on top <laughs> kind of having a big old flashback right here coming through this area that's pretty crazy i have not been out here forever well i'm really glad i came out here though because all these things have some their chests aren't all super full but there's a bunch of resources there's a bunch of cyan concrete and oh man there's a lot of good stuff in here oh crap this will take me a while to move back, and this is probably the longest trip. Ooh, look at that. Well, guys, everything from all of our different areas, every chest in Papyrus is now emptied. Every chest that I know of over at the castle is now emptied. Every chest at the farming village is now empty. I don't know why I always call it that. It's White Glen. Every chest at the White Glen is empty. Bleak Rock Castle is empty. The fishing village is empty. 
our ice plane ice spikes build that we were briefly at over in that grotto area those are all empty and everything is now moved in here and just look at how much stuff we have these are all full of stone i didn't even realize that i had that much stone lying around dirt we got all these shulker boxes which i knew i had beforehand we got a little bit of coarse dirt we got a lot of gravel Ooh, i totally forgot i know where more stuff is but yeah so all this all this stuff is empty and i gotta show you guys our last area that we gotta clear out is right over here by the nether hub there's a place that's full of like we have like eight double chests of netherrack and i'm just not going to move it over because i don't want to store that much netherrack so we're just going to kind of rotate it in to this area and my goal here has just been trying to clean up a lot of chests around the outside so you can see all these chests right here are actually full of netherrack kind of everything it's netherrack <laughs> but what i want to clear out now is these guys because this is a bunch of gravel it's a bunch of concrete it's a bunch of like glass and stuff over here a few more heads things like that that i want to just get everything moved over there there's a whole shulker box full of sand look at that okay let me get these things Ooh, bunch of dies let me get these things moved over and then we'll actually be done and now everything is in the storage room as far as what i'm going to be worrying about today so we have a bunch of empty chests in here that we're going to be filling up later I don't really know with what, as kind of items release in Minecraft or as things we get like new types of dyes that we don't have in here, we'll slowly expand the storage room and fill in these last ones. But oh my gosh, we have so much stuff done and I'm so happy with all of this. Oh man, it's great having all the resources in the center. It made me realize that there's some materials we have a crap ton of, like gravel, cobblestone, definitely stone, heck yes. Stone brick, and eh, not a whole lot. Diorite, we actually don't have too much. And aside, I'm really surprised we don't have much at all. I guess we did use a lot of it in the castle. But yeah, this is kinda <laughs> this is kind of crazy. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is I wanna do a little bit of building in today because you know, it is building with whip after all and we gotta get a little bit of that stuff in. So let me go ahead and get a road through here and I want to work on kind of getting the front face of this guy kind of built up so it looks a little bit better and isn't just a hole in the ground. We're not, we're not going to cover the whole thing today, but I just want to do a little bit of building. So I'll be back with you guys in a little while. All right, guys, welcome back. So a lot of things have changed and it's time for our comment and comment or question of the day. And this one's by TNL Gamings and it says, I really enjoy your builds, you know. I was thinking that vanilla is worse than Conquest, but after watching your survival series, I've changed my mind. Now I think about those two different styles of building and I enjoy, enjoy them at the same level. You're doing a pretty good job as a content as a content creator. Well done, Whip from TNL Gaming. So the reason why I chose this one is because that made me extremely happy. So my goal all this time has been kind of, because originally I was a big Conquest YouTuber, as you guys know, or not a big Conquest YouTuber, but I only built in Conquest. And after a while, I made a sudden, or not after a while, but I made a pretty sudden switch over to doing vanilla. And now we, that's pretty much when we started this series. And I really, really wanted to try for a long time to kind of show the people in the Conquest community that this is something that is usable too, as we have a leaf in our face. And it's not just something that's only cool or not, you can only play Minecraft, you use Conquest. So that made me very, very happy to read that comment and go, yes, finally converted somebody. So, cause I remember, once I made the swap, I actually lost a lot of subscribers. I think the first day I put out a vanilla video, I and you guys hear me joke about it all the time if I ever put out a Conquest video and then I put out a vanilla one the next day, I'm always like, oh, there's going to go 10 subs. But the day I put out a vanilla video, people were like, wait, you're doing a vanilla series? I sub for Conquest. And then I, I think I lost 30-something subs that day, and that was back when I had less than 300. So it was kind of a weird day for me, but I was really happy I kept with a switch and where we're at now and I'm very, very happy with all that kind of stuff. Anyways, but before we blab on too long about that, I want to show you guys what we got going on here. So I threw in a little garden area right here that you can see. Threw in a nice little palm tree. Don't think it's my best work probably for a tree, but it's okay. We got some nice sugar cane in there with some water hidden under these slabs right there and there. Over here, we just did the front face of this building because I want to save building the rest of it for a later episode, building kind of a cool compound type thing. But I really like this guy. It has a lot of detail bits to it, and I think it has a lot of depth, which is really, really cool, and I'm very happy with it. And yeah, that is pretty much the whole build, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this more survival-styled episode of Building with Whip. I know a lot of people like this for kind of the creative building. I moved all your books over here, by the way. Um, more of the creative building style 
and just kind of doing big builds. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you loved it. And I will see you guys on the flip side.